Hello everyone, I'm Human Hard Drive, and today on our Arduino tutorials, uh, like I had mentioned earlier, we're going to look at the Arduino Leonardo and some of its USB emulation capabilities. Now, remember, this is different than the Uno. The processor is different. This is the 32U4, which means it has built-in USB capabilities. And the lovely people at Arduino have been nice enough to build into their processing language some libraries which let us emulate certain devices. Today, we're going to be looking at keyboard emulation, seeing what that can do. Now, it is a good idea to use a jumper in this. Uh, I'm going to be using pin 2, and let me explain why. What we're doing is we're creating a switch here that allows us to turn on and off the USB emu emulation because when you plug this in and it starts acting like a keyboard, the, the computer is only going to recognize it as a keyboard. So if you're going to try and reprogram it as it's acting as a keyboard, the IDE might have a little trouble and you might end up with just a useless board. So by adding this jumper, and we will set the pull up on this so it's connected to ground, pin 2. So by using the jumper, we're helping prevent against this just becoming a useless board. So with that, let's go ahead and look at the code. So I've gone ahead and written in the two basic functions you need to start the code, uh, setup and loop. Now remember, we've got to put in a pull-up on pin 2 in order to stop it and start it acting like a keyboard. So that's pin mode 2, input. And to set the pull-up resistor, we're going to write pin 2 high. And remember that sets it to a logic high level, so we're going to have to check when it changes to logic low. Now logic high, logic low. Okay, to start keyboard emulation, again, it's very keyboard is very similar to serial commands. So to start it, you're just going to start with keyboard.begin. And that starts keyboard emulation. So we're going to wait for pin 2 to go low. And then we're going to start giving it keyboard commands. Now, I said it's similar to the serial commands in that there's keyboard.print, key, uh, keyboard, I can spell, keyboard.println, and keyboard, keyboard.write. Now, keyboard.print will print a character or a string of characters. Println will print a character or a string of characters followed by the return key and then write will write a specific ASCII character. So those are basic commands. There are more keyboardy commands in the sense that you can say keyboard.press and then put in a specific key, say the N key, and that will press the N key. In order to get it to release that key, all you've got to do is say release N key, and that's it. Or, if you're pressing multiple keys, you can just say release all. Now, with the press command, <coughs> with the press command, you can, there are special key codes that are built in to the keyboard library that uh, are available on the Arduino reference page. I can link to that in the description, such as key.backspace. I think there's key dot sh uh, key underscore shift, key underscore control, that sort of thing. So with all that in mind, let's write a little bit of a demo program. So let's start with keyboard dot print ln hello world. Put in a little bit of a delay of say a thousand milliseconds. That's one second. Keyboard dot print ln I am alive. Got no idea what I'm writing here. Uh, we'll delay another thousand milliseconds, and we'll say keyboard <coughs> dot write forty eight. That's um, character zero, and then we'll just delay for a little bit of time, more time, and then we'll say keyboard dot press the backspace key. And we'll let it backspace for a while. Remember that if you hold the backspace key, it'll back up a few times and continue eating. And we'll let that run for, say, 500 milliseconds. I have no idea what that'll do. And then I'll just say keyboard dot release all. 
and that's really it. So, again, it's going to print hello world. It's going to put in a new line. It's going to print I am alive. Print a new line. Then it's going to put in character zero. That's zero, the number. Then it's going to wait, and then it's going to hit the backspace key for 500 milliseconds. That's one half of a second. And so that's really it. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Leonardo and upload the code. One. Okay, so it's gone ahead and uploaded. Uh, I'm going to open up. You can open up any code, uh, any word editing program. I'm just going to open up Notepad because it loads quicker than Word. And I've got. Remember, I've got the wire connected from ground to pin two. So if I go ahead and do that, and it prints in our text, and then up oh, there it goes. It starts hitting the backspace key, and 500 milliseconds was just enough to backspace over the zero character. So that's really it for Leonardo keyboard device emulation. Now, so the first video I'm going to do on the Leonardo's USB emulation capabilities. I'm probably going to do others on mouse and joystick, and maybe combinations of those two, uh, which will really focus more on reading sensor input and then making changes based upon that, which is going to capitalize on this waiting for you to start and stop that, and you'll see why it's important. So this has been Human Hard Drive. Thanks for watching.